Let's go for it. What is up everybody? We have made it to Animal Kingdom. And for today's video, I've got something special planned. Everybody out there likes different things. Some people like thrill rides, some people like the chill rides, and some people, not saying who, but some people like to just watch people or people watching. My parents, those are, the, those are the people who like to come to Disney and just sit on a bench and watch people all day long from Main Street benches. But everybody out there, there's one thing in common between all of us out there, and that's that we all need to eat. We all don't need to go on Expedition Everest, which is what I would do all day, every day if I could. So today, I'm taking one for the team. I am going to be eating food. Food, food, snacks. Popcorn. I have my favorites. You probably have your favorites. What I'm going to do in this video is talk about my favorite snacks, but I'm also going to try a new snack that I've never tried before at each park. We're going to find something that I've never tried before. I'm going to give you my opinion on what I think about it. Let's go find something else here at the Animal Kingdom, and we're going to go to every single park, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, and of course, Hollywood Studios to find a snack that I've never tried before. And we'll of course be visiting those snacks that I have had and that I recommend every single time. So let's go have some fun guys. Let's go, let's go eat some food. All right, so we're gonna head over to Satu Lee Canteen to try some things that I've never tried before, you guys. Now, I've seen lots of YouTubers and vloggers try the uh, cheeseburger pods as well as this blue cream cheese, this blueberry cream cheese. Nevertheless, things that I have never tried. I am all about that, guys, because, you know, when you come to the parks as much as I do, you kinda want some different things give you a new experience if you will yeah these uh, cheeseburger pods are really really good I have a little bit of extra ketchup but you can tell that there is mustard ketchup uh, pickles cheddar cheese all kind of cooked into the, uh, the bun itself it's got everything in there I'm just getting a little bit of extra flavor on it it's pretty good I feel like the meats a little dry on the inside but it's pretty good I'd order this again I really really like these uh, these vegetable chips they got a little bit of heat to them. They're pretty yummy. Uh, I really like them. Probably my least favorite thing on the plate is the is the uh, slaw, the relish slaw. Um, but I really like these little boba balls. Yummy. You're kind of getting everything on this plate. You're getting a little bit of salty, you're getting a little sweet, a little bit of bitter, and then savory. So it's kind of uh, all those flavors mixed into one. but I'd never had it before, so I wanted to try it out um, and uh, give you guys my impressions. Um, but I think it's really, really good. I would order this again. Now, as for the uh, blueberry cream cheese mousse, I, I thought the, the flavor was really, really smooth. It has a little bit of passion fruit curd up here on top. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm looking forward to that. I'm just trying to get through, um, I guess, kind of my main meal here first, and then I'm gonna head over to, uh, to finish off this really, really good dessert. I would get this again as well. It's really, really good. I just love all the decor in here. In fact, most of the decor inside of Satu Lee Canteen and throughout um, Pandora is all handmade. Uh, and a lot of it handmade in Indonesia, which is really, really cool because uh, I grew up in Indonesia back in high school. So pretty, pretty cool to be able to see that. It's like coming back home again. Okay, over here at Pongu Pongu is the home of my favorite Animal Kingdom snack. The Pongu Lumpia. This is the Pongu Pongu. The Pongu Lumpia is right here. It's a pineapple cream cheese spring roll, you guys. And let me tell you, if you are a fan of all things sweet, but not too sweet, the Pongu Lumpia is for you. Everyone loves Disney spring rolls, so <laughs> if you've never tried this one, it's one you definitely don't want to miss. Basically, a pineapple cream cheese stuffed spring roll 
and it can be quite hot. Mine is pretty hot right now, so I'm gonna wait for a couple of minutes to let it cool down. But it, uh, yes, it is very, very hot sometimes. So you guys, if you have little ones trying this, make sure you let it cool down or you could burn yourself, just saying. Here it goes. Mm. It's really good. You gotta let it cool down, but it's not too sweet. It's just sweet enough. This one is my top favorite snack here at the Animal Kingdom. So next time you guys come, come to Pandora, go to Pongu Pongu, and tell them Chris sent you. Okay, you guys, so that's the snacks and food from the Animal Kingdom that we're trying today. Let's head over to another park and try something else. I'm here at the Magic Kingdom. Let's go find that first iconic snack that I eat every time I'm here. Let's go find it. I'm not sure what it is today. Is it popcorn? Is it a churro? Is it a stuffed pretzel? Or a pretzel with fake cheese? These are some of my favorite snacks. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll try one, maybe I'll try all of them. I simply can't choose just one snack here. There's still lots that I haven't tried. I think for sure I gotta go with the Disney popcorn, guys. And if you guys do have your souvenir buckets, make sure you guys bring those. They're only uh, $2 to refill those. Uh, so yeah, bring your popcorn buckets, get your popcorn fix. Just so yummy, so yummy and buttery. And did you guys know that it's vegan popcorn? So anyone out there with dairy allergies or just choose to be vegan, you can get the Disney popcorn because it's vegan. How great is that? We are seated in a disclosed secret location in Tomorrowland. Nobody knows where I am right now. I am about to try the famous Disney World popcorn. As soon as you walk into Walt Disney World, you can smell it. You want it. I know you do. This is something that I crave every single time that I come. In fact, my brother and I, it's probably one of our top 10 foods on the planet is Walt Disney World popcorn. Disney World sells 5.25 million popcorns every year. So at 525, that's over $27 million, guys. So pretty, pretty good little revenue generating stream there for Walt Disney. And I'm loving it. So no excuses. This one's for everybody. And get yourself the souvenir bucket. It's 12 bucks, but it's only $2 for a refill. So if you have a family and you guys are eating popcorn, it's definitely worth it to get the to get the bucket. I have about 80 of these at home. <laughs> Every single time I come, I forget it, but we are going in. I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's just so good. Like, why? Like, what are they putting in this? When you're at Walt Disney World or Disneyland, there's just something about it, guys. It's just special. This is one of the only snacks, it may be the only snack that's still sold in the park today that was sold when the park opened or Disneyland opened in 1955. This may be the one true original Disney snack. That's right. When Disneyland opened in 1955, popcorn was sold. I'm not sure if it was pop secret, but this is the one snack at Walt Disney World and Disneyland that has stood the test of time. Disney popcorn, guys. If you've never had it, you don't know what you're missing. Go get some. Now for me, I'm gonna eat the rest of this and we're gonna go find something that I've never had before. I don't know what it is, but let's go find it. Oh, guys, the, the popcorn's gone. Where'd it go? It was here and now it's gone. Must be a reason. It's good, that's why. Guess I'll have to go buy another one. It is now time to find something that I have never had before. Now, I've had people sending me messages saying, hey Chris, go check out Sleepy Hollow. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I just checked online and they have basically three items that they're known for. They have one, a spicy, sweet chicken waffle sandwich, which sounds kind of interesting. Number two, they have a funnel cake. And I have to admit, I've never had a funnel cake at a Disney park before. And three, a hand-dipped corn dog. Hmm. Now I know the corn dogs at Disneyland are really, really good. You know the big uh, red car on Main Street at Disneyland, and I always love getting those. But 
I've kind of had a corn dog before. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we try the spicy sweet chicken waffle sandwich, guys. So let's head over to Sleepy Hollow. And I'll give you guys my impressions. Let's go. We found a nice quiet spot to enjoy to try out this uh, chicken waffle sandwich. So apparently this is something that's come and gone over the past 10 years or so at the Sleepy Hollow, which I guess kind of has a reputation for items coming and then disappearing. Um, but this one seems to come and go quite often. So it seems to be a pretty safe bet if it's something that you want to be trying. Um, so hopefully when you come to the park, if you if you want to try this out, then, then hopefully it'll be there. So um, basically it came to $11.18. Um, so, probably more of a meal than a snack, but let's try the chips first. So, just your basic run-of-the-mill potato chip. Still pretty good. Um, getting a closer look at the, uh, the waffle sandwich. The waffle is pretty crisp and solid, so you should be able to hold it, you know, maybe with two hands. Um, and enjoy it that way, but it looks like it's pretty easy to share. You could easily cut it in half, which is probably what I'm going to do here, just because it does look like it can be kind of a little messy, so I'm gonna cut it in half. So you've got the chicken, and you've got the sweet and spicy sauce with like a uh, slaw. So let's try it out and see how it is. Mm. Definitely sweet and definitely spicy. So, you know what they say. So if you like spicy and you like sweet, put them together, can't be beat. Isn't that the way the saying goes? Wow. I can't believe I've never tried this before. Mmm. I really, really like it. I was kind of anticipating the chicken to be a little dry, but it's actually really, really balanced really well. The flavors, there's an equal amount sweet and equal amounts uh, spicy. And it's not too spicy, just for the record. I, I don't like a lot of spicy, spicy food, but this one's just right. I don't think there's too much spice to it. It's just got a little bit, um, but the sweetness of it kind of helps mellow that out. So I think that's, that's, a, that's a for sure a win. I recommend it. Definitely check it out, guys. So we're heading over to Aloha Isle to try something that I have never tried before. Now, most people have tried a Dole Whip, which are of course, a uh, famous tried and true Disney snack, but they have a new one based on Moana, the Kakamora float, which is that coconut soft serve over pineapple juice, blue curacao syrup, and it's non-alcoholic, just in case people are wondering. And it's topped with a chocolate Kakamora cake pop on top. I've never had it before. Just saw it there and I'd seen some other people trying it and I asked them how it was and they're like, hey, it's pretty good. So I've never tried it before, so let's go check it and try it out. Okay, you guys, let's go for it. Wow. New favorite snack. The exception will be station. It's so good. If you are a fan of coconut, then we try it guys. Alright, let's try the cake pop. Just a basic chocolate cake pop. Nothing too special there, but the actual dole whip itself. It's not really a dole whip, but the float itself is amazing. I would definitely get this one again. I'm so happy I'm doing this video. I'm learning all kinds of things. Mm. So I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this and uh, we'll come back with a conclusion after this. Dang, it was good. Dang, I want it again. Dang, I want another one right now, but it's two problems. One, my stomach and the capacity therein is quickly Diminishing, number two, the balance in my checking account also quickly diminishing. But now if I have to choose between the Dole Whip and the Kakamura, that's gonna be, that's gonna be an internal struggle and battle. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, that's gonna do it for the Magic Kingdom today. I'm gonna head out to another park and hopefully by the time I get there, my appetite will have 
recovered and I'll be able to get another classic Disney snack as well as something new. So let's head to another park and let's get some new snacks, try some new food for the road. Of course, I have refilled my popcorn for the road. Can't go wrong with the refillable popcorn from Walt Disney World, am I right? All right, let's head to the next park. We have made it over to Hollywood Studios where we are in search of a favorite snack as well as a snack that I have never tried before. Now, I feel pretty versed in Hollywood Studios and have had most of the snacks in this area. But today, I'm looking for something that I've never tried before. So yeah, I'm kind of just gonna be looking around, keeping my eyes open. First, I'm gonna go grab a snack that I've had several times before and that I recommend. And from there, we're gonna go for a search and find something that we've never tried before. I defaulted to a classic. No, not the popcorn. No, not a churro, but that's right, a frozen strawberry lemonade. It's getting a little warmer here today. The humidity is feeling a little bit, but so I wanted to get something nice and cool and refreshing. And I know it's just a frozen lemonade, but and you can get those probably everywhere. But for me, this is one of my favorite Disney snacks. Have you ever tried one of these before? There's just something about them, guys. But everything's better at Disney, and Minute Maid frozen lemonade is no exception. Go get one today. <laughs> I thought on this beautiful day, no better place to enjoy a frozen treat, but with my pal, Gertie the Dinosaur, who, if you don't know, is an animated character from 1914, one of the very first animated characters that had a personality. And she was very, 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 very popular back in the day. And so let's share this frozen treat with Gertie. They are pretty rock hard when you first get them, so I've let mine sit out here for a couple of minutes to kind of get warm or melt or get a little softer. There you go. Just your typical frozen lemonade. Honestly, just a perfect snack. If when you just want to chill and cool off for a little bit, really, really good. They do have <clears throat> they do have different flavors. I've seen orange, the standard lemonade, and of course the strawberry. It's good stuff. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for our Hollywood Studio snack. Let's go find something I've never tried before. Mm. We are looking for a snack that I've never tried before. Over here, they do have a cookies and cream <laughs> soft serve vanilla ice cream funnel cake. Oh my goodness. Well, I just had that lemonade, frozen lemonade, so I may need to wait a minute before I get anything super, super sweet. Woo. Let's keep on looking, guys. Let's keep on looking. Let's head over to Backlot Express and see if there's anything over there that we've never had. Okay guys, so we have made it into Backlot Express and we are trying something that I just researched online. Something chewy. That's right, chewy. Like Star Wars. Known as the Wookiee Cookie. This is an oatmeal cookie. I'm, a, I'm super excited. I love soft oatmeal cookies. So we're gonna go try it out guys. Where, where are we going? That looks amazing. The Wookie Cookie. It looks just like a little mini Chewbacca. It's got like soft oatmeal cookie and it's got like a little chocolate thing here. It's supposed to look like Chewbacca's little belt that he wears. And inside, creamy stuffing. I'm about to try this, guys. And uh, I may or may not want to share this with anybody it looks like it's big enough to share we'll see if we can eat it all guys let's try it out it's a chewy cookie guys get it chewy let's split it open and see oh it's soft oh it's very soft oh this is gonna just yeah that's like honey or something oh it's gonna be messy i should have got some uh, napkins let's try it mm. Wow, it's really sweet, perfect softness. You know, there's like a perfect cookie softness. You don't want it too soft, you don't want it hard. This is the perfect cookie softness. That's right guys, you heard it here first. The perfect cookie softness. The chewy cookie. I recommend it guys, come check it out. $5.99 at the back, at the back lot express. Come get it, it's yummy. Wow, guys, that Wookiee cookie 
I finished the whole thing. I'm not proud of it, but I did. Actually, I am happy I had finished it. It was amazing. <laughs> okay, well, there you have it, friends. We have completed our mission for Hollywood Studios. We've had one of our favorite snacks and also tried a new one. So now it's time to get over to another park and try something else. Let's go. Okay, you guys, we are over in Epcot and we are looking for my favorite snack at Epcot today. And that just so happens to be a Kakimori shaved ice from Japan. So we're going to enjoy that just over here in the Japan Pavilion. Now you can pick this up just to the left of the entrance of the Japan Pavilion. It's actually a really reasonable price. At $4.50, you can get this whole shaved ice. You can share it. For a dollar more, you can get sweetened condensed milk on top. But to me, that's more like Hawaiian style. So, which is really good. But for me, I'm trying to minimize the sweetness today because I've already had a lot of yummy food. So I'm gonna just enjoy it. Just the plain old rainbow Kakimori shaved ice. Just walking around. Well, I can't really walk around right now with the social distancing and the masks, but we're gonna enjoy this little uh, shaved ice here in the Japan Pavilion. But I highly recommend it, guys. Really good. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're gonna have a bite of this. I'm not gonna knock it over either. <laughs> it's good. It's just a nice shaved ice, guys. Nice and cool, refreshing. Mm. Good stuff. I'm gonna go get another vantage point where I can hopefully put the camera down. So guys, I just realized that throughout this entire video, me getting food, I haven't gotten anything that I didn't like. Does that mean that all the food at Disney is good? This is just a snow cone. I mean, if I had to rate it up against like a Slurpee, it's not any better, but it's still great because you're at Disney and I don't know what it is about being at a Disney park, but everything just seems to be better. Anyone else feel the same way? I don't know. Maybe it's just like the euphoria of being at Disney that just makes things better. I don't know. Just a food for thought. Food for thought. Get it? Now it's time to go try and find something that I've never had here before. And I kind of maybe have an idea about what I want to do, but I'm not 100%. So let's head over to the next pavilion over and see if I can find something that I've never tried. Walking past the funnel cake little stand here, that's something I've never had at a Disney park. And I've seen funnel cakes kind of everywhere. But I don't know, they just, they just smell like too much oil and sugar. I just can't bring myself to eat one. I mean, churros, churros good enough. Don't need a funnel cake, jeez. Okay guys, now I know a burger probably isn't something that I should have gotten, but I wanted to try it out today. It's, uh, it's a burger I've never had. I've never eaten at the Regal Eagle, not since it's been redone. This burger comes in at $13.49 with tax $14.37. But yeah, just a nice basic burger. Let's cut into it and see what we're, what we're dealing with here. Of course, I only get a knife and I didn't get a fork, but this has pulled pork, it's got a beef patty, and it's got some lettuce. Looks like some barbecue sauce already on here. So, and I can tell it's gonna be a messy one, guys. But you know, sometimes that's actually a good sign. All right, okay. I'm having problems cutting this bun all the way through because the, uh, the coleslaw or the tomato at the bottom uh, got a little soggy down there. So, yeah, that's a that's not a good thing. This is, I'm just going to pull the tomato out, actually. Okay. And I should probably take my mask off. That'd be, that'd be smart. Okay. First bite, here we go. Mm. You know, I don't really taste the burger much. I taste mostly the pork. Oh. It's really interesting. Combining beef with pork. Just shows you how overpowering pork can be. I literally taste none of the beef patty at all. Mm. I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not great. I don't know if I would get it again, as far as like theme park burgers go. As, as far as a theme park burger goes, it's okay. 
pretty much everything that I've ordered, I've liked up until this. Which is kind of disappointing because it looks really good. I love Texas toast. I like pulled pork. I like burgers. I like lettuce. I like mayonnaise. So what's not to like? Probably just the combination of all of them. I just, I feel like the pork is overpowering the beef. It is what it is. Let's try the fries. I like the fries. The fries are great. Seasoned fries. It's got like seasoning, salt, paprika. Really good. But the best thing is the water. Thanks so much for coming along, you guys. It's been a fun experience. It's been fun going to all the parks, checking out all the food and trying new things. Was, I'll definitely be doing this type of video again because there's lots of food out there that I've never had before. So keep being awesome. Be true to yourself. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.